am so glad to see you today. We have been learning all month long that God made us. Who made you? God made me. Yes, he did. He made you and he loves you. So let's stand up and sing about the wonderful way that God made you and me. Here we go. God made me, that's right. Well, why don't we say our memory verse together one more time? Because this is the last week of this verse. Okay, I'm sure you have it memorized. Here we go, are you ready? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Let's do it one more time, okay? Make it your best one, because this is our last one. I am, say it loudly, fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Good job. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and God loves everything about you. Your hair, your eyes, your nose, he made all of you. So let's sing this next song and worship God together.
You are awesome, beautiful, amazing creations made by God. So tell me one more time, who made you? God made me. Yes, he did. He did a great job making you. Well, today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Can you say Tabitha? Good job. Well, our friends at the clubhouse have a lot to tell us today. So let's get to it right now. Come on. Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Hello there, friends. It's me, Lucy. The wind must have blew through the clubhouse because all of our pictures fell off the walls. What am I going to do? What a mess. How am I going to clean all of this up? It's too big of a job for me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You look like you are feeling blue. Hi, Ollie. I sure am. The wind knocked all of my pictures off the walls. There's no way I can clean them all back up. That is a big mess. It's true. But there is something you can do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends! Hello! I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. I'm just fixing this radio for my aunt, Marisol. It's been broken for a while, so I offered to help fix it for her. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and helped people by making them clothes which was good because lots of people needed help. There you go, guys. Wow, great job, Tabitha. <laughs> you helped a lot of people. Did you know God made you and me to help people too? That's right. Whether you're a grown-up or a kid, you can help. Even if you can't sew like Tabitha, do you think God could use a kid like you to help others? Of course, yes. Let's think of things you can do to help. Hmm, you can draw someone a picture to make them smile. You can play toys with your little sister or cousins or neighbors. You can help clean up after dinner. You can give someone a hug and tell them you love them. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old you are. God made you to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. No matter who you are, you can help too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? What a great story. God made everyone to help. No matter how old we are, we can help. That means you can help and I can help. I think I got the story. Did you get it? 
If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Even though I am small, I can do this big job and pick the pictures up and hang them back up. Can I take one last picture of you? This time, give a thumbs up for being a happy helper. Are you ready? Say cheese! Awesome. I'll see you guys later. Bye. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old or young you are, because God made you to help. He made you to help others. Isn't that amazing? So God made you to help. And who made you? God made me. Good job. He certainly did. All right. Well, why don't we close our eyes and talk to God together, okay? Dear God, helping people feels so good, and we are so thankful for each chance we get to help others. Thank you for making us the way you did to love and care for other people, and help us to look for ways this week that we can help others, just like Tabitha did. We love you so much, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, you guys. Look for ways to help others this week. You'll find them anywhere you go. I will see you next Sunday for a new month, new Bible verse, new question. I cannot wait to see you then. Bye.